Hello guys. Hope you all are doing great. As AI has penetrated every domain of life. More importantly, AI streamlines research processes, enhances writing productivity, and pushes the boundaries of academic excellence. It cuts the workload of the users since AI has profound impact on academic writing. However, there are growing concern pertaining to the plagiarism and AI-generated content detection. Therefore, in today's video, we tackle the question, can AI-generated content be detected using Turnitin and AI detectors? Join us as we delve into the capabilities of Turnitin and its AI detection tools in identifying artificially generated content. First of all, let's generate a literature review using AI tool. This content will be purely developed by AI tool, and I will not change a single word in it. So without further delay, let's drive in to open your web browser and type site AI. We will use this AI to generate content and I have created a detailed video on this particular AI link can be found in above card. Click the very first link and this will land you on the official page of this AI. After that I will process to login. For that I will click login key up here. From here I will choose my Gmail account. Let me choose my particular Gmail account and put my information. Once I am done it will automatically login. Here you go. Now I will type my question around which I am creating this content to be tested later on using Turnitin. So, let's suppose I want to generate an literature review around the common misconceptions in geometry and measurement. Once I am done with the typing then I will hit enter, it will process we will wait for a while. This AI will develop automatic detailed literature review. Here you go. So, you can see that on the left side the entire literature review. And on the right side, there is list of various references, which has been used by this AI to write this literature review. You can see that this manuscript has mentioned particular misconceptions related to geometry and measurement. Besides, in order to get more knowledge about the particular article or any particular concept, it has given in-text citations which can be accessed by just clicking. So, this is the overall literature review which has been generated by this AI tool which later can use to test. So, to make our literature review more comprehensive, let me type one more question. This is pertaining to what literature suggests strategies to use to mitigate these misconceptions. We will see what literature says. Once I am done with the typing I will hit enter to know the strategies which can help us to mitigate these particular misconceptions. Wait for a while. It will process and the result will be shown. You can see that it has brought various strategies which can be used to mitigate these conceptions. These includes knowledge assessment and identification of misconception, providing accurate information, active learning and hands-on activities can help to reduce these misconceptions. So, these are the following strategies suggest by various literature and this AI has bring forth. Now I will convert all these information into separate word file and I will save the file. This particular job I will open word file and I will copy the given text one by one and I will paste over here. After that I will do some formatting as per APA 7th edition style. Once I am done with the first part of the literature. Then I will start the second part, the same process will be followed, just copy paste and formatting. Then we will save this in our laptop or computer. As we are done with generating a content. Now we'll follow these processes to check for plagiarism using Turnitin and AI detector. 
for that I will open Google Chrome and type Turnitin. Then I will input my account details. After that I will open the class which I have already created to upload this particular file. You can see that I will click view and now it will ask to add file. I will just type my first name ABC first and last name XYZ. Then I am good to go. We will choose our file which we have saved a moment ago in our laptop. Once we are click here this will take some time to upload. See it has uploaded here. After uploaded, it will display the similarity percentage. You can see that in our case we have found only 2% similar content. It means here the plagiarism is only 2%. By clicking here, we will explore the entire file and we will see where this 2% exists in the paper. Don't skip the video, we are not done yet, the result is astonishing. As Turnitin has updated its system, now it can find AI generated content. Here at the end, you can see that AI icon and beside this display 83%. So let's explore it by clicking. You can see that it depicts 83% similarity or plagiarism. It means that this content has been generated using AI. The highlighted text in blue is the text which this has detected as AI generated. And it is absolutely right we have generated this content using AI and we didn't change single word in it. This proves that AI content can be detected through Turnitin latest update. In the climactic conclusion of our video, we unveil the startling findings of our investigation. Utilizing the formidable Turnitin AI detector, we have meticulously analyzed the content we generated using Site AI, only to discover an astounding 86% plagiarism rate. This discovery serves as a sobering reminder of the complex challenges we confront in maintaining originality and integrity within the realm of AI-generated content. To students and researchers, exercise caution when utilizing AI for assignments. Our video demonstrates how AI-generated content can be detected. Maintain integrity by ensuring originality and proper citation practices. I hope you liked this video. If so let me know by commenting on it. We will meet again bye.